Continuing the series of interviews at the OpenStack PTG in Denver, we are speaking now with Melanie about the Nova project. So let's start by, uh, if you would introduce yourself, tell us uh, where you work and uh, what, what project you're on, how long you've been with OpenStack. Okay, um, my name is Melanie Witt and I'm a core reviewer on the Nova project. I work for Red Hat. Um, I've been working on OpenStack since 2012, um, so I've been around for a while. Tell us uh, what happened in Pike that's new and interesting. Um, so we've been working on a couple of big sort of new features over the past few releases. Um, one of them is Salz v2, which is uh, making scalability and compartmentalization of a deployment like a first class feature. Um, in Pike, we finally have uh, multi-cell support um, for the first time, so we're able to deprecate the old cells v1 and um, have people start trying out uh, multi-cell with cells v2. And um, for placement, the placement API is a brand new service. Um, it's new as of Okada. Um, work has been ongoing there. Uh, in Pike, we have we finally have the filter scheduler doing claims through placement. Um, which eliminates the sort of contention reschedule issue that some operators are probably very familiar with, um, wherein if you have many parallel requests and they all think that they have availability on a compute host, and so it, they all pick that host and then the resources get consumed and then some of them fail to claim and become rescheduled um, across the, the cluster, but now since the claims of, are using placement, that is no longer going to occur. So that should really help with um, the performance and uh, usability of, of, of scheduling. Um, and then another major thing we did in Pike is that we re-architected the way the quota system works. So we removed the reservation and separate tracking of usage um, wherein you could get out of sync, basically, like your quota usage could become different than the resources that you were actually consuming. This was another problem that I think a lot of operators have been dealing with and trying to like resync quotas. So now we no longer are tracking usage separately. We're counting resources, um, just actually counting resources and comparing that to your quota limit and doing it that way. So that eliminates the going out of sync issue. So that's kind of the main highlights of um, things we have in Pike. So it's still very early in the week when I'm doing this particular interview, but uh, do you already have a sense of what you'll be focusing on in Queens or is that not decided yet? Um, we have an idea because um, cells v2 and placement are still undergoing like major work. So um, we are definitely going to be working on uh, efficient listing of instances across cells. Um, there's some there are some challenges around like sorting and paging uh, for multi-cell listing. So we're going to be working on that. Um, in placement, there's going to be more work toward the what's called shared providers, which is like shared resources like Ceph or NFS. Um, that's been a, a, a problem in the, up to now, or up to until we have the support for shared providers um, of representing that the quantity of storage resources across a cluster when it's shared storage has been um, a pain point. Uh, there's also going to be more work on nested resource providers. Resource providers are um, what we're calling like a, a pool of resources of some type. Um, and then uh, traits, uh, the resource traits. So that's kind of like um, almost like an attribute on a flavor, I think, is how you could think of it. So if you need uh, NUMA or like 
something like that, then that I think would be a trait on your request for scheduling. Yeah, Nova also, of course, interacts with absolutely everything. Do, do you, are you involved in a lot of the cross-project meetings this week as well? Yes, um, we we all like participate in the, the cross-project. Oh, everybody participates in all of them? I would say yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Uh, we, we actually, for the PTG, we schedule ahead of time, like joint time with Cinder and Neutron um, in particular. So um, we've got that on the schedule already. We're going to talk about um, things like multi-attach and um, some placement service related things with Neutron um, tomorrow and Thursday. If somebody was interested in finding out more about Nova or getting involved in the project, where do we go? Where do we read about it? What channels do we join? You can always communicate with us on the OpenStack Dev mailing list with the Nova tag. Uh, you can find us in the OpenStack Nova channel on Freenode. Um, we have a weekly Nova meeting. Um, there's a, a wiki for that. You can find out, like, we do an alternating time every week to catch all the time zones. So if you check that on the wiki, then you can find out um, when you can attend the meeting. Uh, and then we have our documentation at docs.openstack.org slash Nova, I believe. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck in the rest of the week of meetings. Thanks. Uh -huh.